Hi, kindergarten. Today we're going to make or start making a campfire picture. So I'm going to be painting the background. And if you don't have paint, you could use a, a big piece of black paper. Or you can have a big piece of white paper and use watercolor paints or crayons or markers. So I'm using tempera paint. So the first thing I'm going to put on my paper is a little bit of white because I want to make the moon. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to spread it into a circle with the moon, like a full moon. Okay. Next, I'm going to use some blue. I'm going to paint around the moon with the blue. Now, I'm not rinsing my brush in between. And that's okay, as long as you start with white. And now I'm going to take some black and I'm going to color the rest of the paper black or paint it, I should say. So I have a messy mat under my painting so that I can paint the edges without making a mess on my table. So you could always put down some newspaper if you're painting on a table also. Okay. So this takes a couple minutes to paint the whole thing. And of course, once we're done painting, we need to put it in a safe place to dry. We won't use it again until next time. So <clears throat> You'll have a whole week to let it dry. So if you have a paint smock at your house, I should have said this first, you might want to wear that when you're painting so you don't get it on your clothes. So on this campfire picture, we're going to be roasting marshmallows. I love toasted marshmallows on the campfire. Lots of people like to make s'mores or even roast hot dogs over the campfire. But our picture is going to be marshmallows. All right, I'm almost finished. Just need a little more black paint. So if you're not finished making your background, you can pause the video until you are. All 
All right, so now I'm gonna move this out of the way. So it's in a safe place to dry. And I'm gonna move my paint, my paintbrush out of the way. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is make the logs for the fire. So I have a normal piece of brown paper and I have folded it into three. Now, if you can't do this by yourself, you'll have to ask a grown up to help you fold your paper. So, three parts. And now I'm gonna draw a log shape. And I wanna use a lot of the paper, so I'm gonna make it round on both ends. And then I'm just gonna draw straight lines to connect it. Now I wanna cut this out. I wanna keep it folded while I cut. Then I'm gonna get three logs. So I'm just gonna cut all my lines. three logs. So to make them look a little bit more like logs, I'm going to take one end and make some swirlies. So it looks like at the end of a log. And then I want to put lines to look like bark. So I'm just using my marker to make some lines. Now, I didn't say that you needed glue this time, but so, so it's easier to not lose these. I'm actually gonna glue mine together this week. So if you have some glue, you're gonna be able to glue yours as well. So all I wanna do is at the top of the first log, I wanna put some glue and I'm gonna lay the second log like that, diagonal. Then I'm gonna put some glue on top of that. And I'm gonna lay the other one the other way diagonal. Okay, so now my logs are glued together. So for next week, you need your logs and your background. And you need some either, I'm gonna be using tissue paper, red, yellow, and orange but if you don't have tissue paper you can use regular paper and then I'm going to be using two cotton balls and two wooden skewer sticks for the marshmallows you can always go outside and find two twigs as well if you want to use real sticks okay so next week we'll put it all together we'll make the fire and the marshmallows and we'll put it all together so have fun and I'll see you next time.